Good morning class. Welcome to another session of Living Grammar. In this session, Pearl is going to visit Nanhu Scenic Site near Jiaxing. She's going to tell us a little story about her visit and we're going to go through the sentences and make sure that each sentence has a grammatical subject. We're going to underline the subject of every sentence and we're going to make sure that the subject agrees with the verb. If the subject is singular, the verb must be singular. If the subject is plural, the verb must also be plural. Every sentence in English must have a grammatical subject. The subject is a noun or a pronoun. A noun is a thing or a person. Or the pronoun takes the place of a noun. It's usually he, she, it, they, we, etc. We can generally work out the subject of the sentence by asking who or what before the verb. For example, the site is famous for its misty lake. What is famous for the misty lake? The site. So the site is the grammatical subject of this sentence. There is only one site, so it is the subject and it is singular. It takes the singular verb, the site is famous for its misty lake. I want you to watch out for the there is, there are constructions. In this case, the grammatical subject comes after the verb. For example, there are many tourists. Many tourists is the grammatical subject of this sentence. Many tourists is the subject it is plural, so it must take the are. Uh, there are many tourists. As we go through this small video of Pearl's visit to Nanhu Lake, Pearl is going to use the past tense when she talks about what she did or what she saw. She uses the present tense when she talks about things that are always true, things that are generally true all the time. For example, the site is famous for its misty lake. This is a fact that is always true about Nanhu Scenic Site. I want you to listen to her small story and we're going to make sure that we're very clear about the grammatical subject of each sentence. So, for example, the Nanhu Scenic Site has or have one of the most famous lakes in the Jiaxing province. What is the grammatical subject? What has one of the most famous lakes? Nanhu Scenic Site. I want you to note that. It is the subject of this sentence. It is singular. There's only one site. So we must note down the singular form of the verb has. This Nanhu Scenic Site has one of the most famous lakes in the Jiaxing province. This is in the present tense because it is true for all time. It is a universal truth. It is something that is always true. I want you to mark down that it is in the present tense. The Nanhu Scenic Site has one of the most famous lakes in the Zhejiang province. The site is famous for its misty lake, dreamy views and cultural landmarks. I travelled on a boat to Huxing Island. There were a lot of tourists at Yanhu Pavilion, which was built in 1549. This is a picture of the magistrate who ruled in 1873 during the reign of Emperor Qinglong. Nearby, I saw the Communist Party's memorial boat. In 1921, on this boat, the Communist Party of China held its first congress. There are seven pagodas in ancient Jiaxing. The Haozu Pagoda was built in the Song Dynasty. It is the only pagoda that you can climb in Jiaxing. I made it to the 
top of the pagoda. From the top, there is a beautiful view of the lake. Just before I left the pagoda, I made a wish. Then I went to the old town of Jiaxing. It was built in the Qing dynasty. There are many scenic bridges, alleys and waterways. Number one, the Nanhu scenic site has or have one of the most famous lakes in Jiaxing province. The Nanhu scenic site is the subject of that. This sentence, it is in the singular, it has a singular verb and it is in the present tense because it is always true. Number two, the site is our famous for its misty lake, dreamy views and cultural landmarks. Once again, the site is the grammatical subject of this sentence because we are, it is telling us what is famous. The site is the subject. Once again, there is only one site. It has a singular verb, is famous for its misty lake, dreamy views and cultural landmarks. It is in the present because it is always true. Notice too, the possessive adjective is also in the third person singular, it's. Number three, I travel, travelled on a boat to Hookshin Island. I is once again the grammatical subject of that sentence. Pearl is talking about something that she did in the past tense. Notice that the verb has the regular ed ending. I travelled on a boat to Hookchin Island. Now up to number four. There was were many tourists at Yanhu Pavilion, which was were built in 1549. Let's take the first clause. The grammatical subject is many tourists. Remember, when you've got there was or there were, the subject comes after the verb. Many tourists is a subject, it is plural. Subject, it is plural because it is plural we have to take the past tense were at Yanhu Pavilion, which was were built in 1549. Yanhu Pavilion is the subject of this clause. It is one pavilion, was or were, it was it's a subject, it is singular, takes the was form of to be, built in 1549. Notice that both of these verbs are in the past tense because Pearl is talking about what she saw or did at Yanhu Pavilion. Five, there is or are a picture of the magistrate who rules ruled in 1873 during the reign of Emperor Qing Long. Number five, there is ah, a picture of the magistrate who rules ruled in 1873 during the reign of Emperor Qing Long. Once again, the there is there are, this grammatical subject comes after the verb. A picture is the grammatical subject. It is singular, there is just one picture that takes is. It's in the present tense because it is always there. You go today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, hopefully the picture will always be there. The magistrate rules or ruled. It is in the past tense because he ruled in 1873. It's something that already happened. So it's in the past tense. The magistrate is the subject of this clause. It is in the singular ruled 
and ruled, you'll notice, takes the regular ED form of the past tense. Number six, nearby IC saw the Communist Party's memorial boat. I is the grammatical subject. It is singular. It's, we need a past tense verb because Pearl is talking about something she saw when she was there. Saw is an irregular past tense verb. Number seven, in 1921, on this boat, the Communist Party of China holds or held its first Congress. The verb holds or held the Communist Party is the singular subject. It's in the past tense because we're talking about something that has already happened. So I'm going to wipe that out. It held its first Congress. Number eight, there is or are seven pagodas in ancient Jiaxing. Number eight, there is or are seven pagodas in ancient Jiaxing. Once again, the grammatical subject, the seven pagodas. It's the subject, it's plural, because there are seven of them. So it must take the plural form of the verb to be. There are seven pagodas. Notice it is in the present tense, because these pagodas are always there. Nine, the whole Zhu pagoda was, were built in the Song Dynasty. The whole Zhu pagoda, pagoda is the subject, it is singular. It was built, we're talking about the past tense form of the verb in the Song Dynasty. It is are the only pagoda that you can climb in Jiaxing. It is the grammatical subject referring to the pagoda. So it takes the singular form of the verb, singular. That's the subject, it takes it is the only pagoda that you can climb. Notice you is the grammatical subject of the second clause. 11, from the top there is R, a view of the beautiful lake. Once again, the there is, there are construction. A view is the grammatical subject of this sentence. It is a subject, it is singular, that takes the is form of the verb. 12, just before I leave, left the pagoda, I make made a wish. Notice, both of the I's are the grammatical subject of both of these clauses. I left, Pearl is talking about the past tense. Left is an irregular form of the past tense. Left, likewise, I made a wish. Notice both of these verbs are in the past tense, referring to something that Pearl did while she was visiting the island. We're up to number 13. Then I go went to the old town of Jiaxing. Once again, I is the grammatical subject of that sentence. She's talking about something she did in the past tense. Went, it's irregular, to the old town of Jiaxing. It was were built in the Qing dynasty. It, singular subject of that sentence, must take the verb to be in the past tense because it's something that has already happened. Number 14, there is are many scenic bridges, alleys and waterways. Many scenic bridges, alleys and waterways, it's a compound subject. There are three nouns, it's plural, it's the subject. Must agree with the plural verb are. You'll notice it's in the present tense because these beautiful bridges, alleyways and waterways are always there if you go to the beautiful old town of Jiaxing, which was certainly one of our favourite spots when we visited Jiaxing. I hope you enjoyed this session of Living Grammar. Please join us again.